Listen to his voice. Listen to his prophetic word over and over again the thing you're waiting for is here praise God anybody want to receive that tonight hallelujah the thing you are waiting for is here that's not just some feel good word it's a prophetic word from the Lord and if you want to receive it tonight God wants to do exceedingly abundantly above that which we can ask all or you can think, ask, or imagine. And I just feel like we're on the crux of something big in the spirit. You know, I wrote a paper called September to Remember, but it's more about blood moons. It's more than just about the Feast of Tabernacles, which is getting ready to start. It's more than just the day of atonement which we just finished it's more than the fourth blood moon in the tetrad god is speaking to his people he's speaking to his people the thing you are waiting for is here amen receive that tonight have you been waiting on a healing have you been waiting on something financial have you been waiting on something at your job or have you been waiting on the Lord? What are the gifts of the Spirit? He wants to rain down on you tonight. Amen. Amen. He wants to rain down on you with fire and power and prophetic words and gifts of healing. Amen. Amen. This is not just for some clergy or some pastor. It's not for the Pope. I can tell you that. My Lord said, Whosoever will, let him come. So, God, we come to you tonight with a sense of expectation, knowing that you love your children, knowing that it's more than a physical rain outside, it's beginning to rain in the spirit. God, we hear your voice tonight. We want to be like Samuel and say, Speak, speak. For your servant is listening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive his word tonight, church. God is ready to rain down on you. And the thing you have waited for is here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God tonight for his mighty presence. Hallelujah. I believe that everybody got something from this presence. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 So we're going to continue by bringing before him all our testimony. Hallelujah. So the Lord is doing something in our life. He's showing his glory. Hallelujah. He's doing mighty things. Do you have any testimony tonight? Do you have any testimony tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I get ready. Thank you. Well, I just want to thank God. Uh, my wife had uh, uh, received a very special gift today. And... Um, as some of you know, we're having uh, missionaries come down for the uh, International Bible School uh, that's happening in uh, late October, November. 
And we said, Lord God, we need to uh, be able to house your servants, but we didn't really have anything for them to sleep on and anything to, you know, for them to put away their clothes. And we still haven't worked out a privacy issue, issue yet. But the Lord has sent us two sofas. Uh, sleep sofas. Sleep sofas. Yes. And has sent us um, two drawers and dressers. Two, two dressers that came in today. And I just thank the Lord because he knows the desire of your heart. Yes, he does. And the Lord knows that my wife and I love to host. Oh, yes. And I, I'm just overjoyed that God cares about the little things. You know, I mean, I'm sure we would have worked out something. My wife and I probably would have given up our bedroom, probably, if, if things didn't come in. But it's just good to know that the Lord takes care right. of every little thing. Yes. Even the thing that is dear to your heart, sweet to your heart, that nobody knows about, he knows about. Hey. And I thank God for his faithfulness. And they ain't going to get into probably what it would have cost just to have those things. But I just thank God that he does exceedingly, this is what Dominic had just said, Exceedingly abundantly above that which we can ask or think. Hallelujah. For testimony tonight. Hallelujah. Hey, Grandmama. I would just like to say, I am so glad to be here. It is a blessing from above. And I thank the Lord. And I just want to say to the church, in the name of the Lord, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall always be in my heart and come out of my mouth. I thank you. I bless you. Hallelujah. God is in control. Hallelujah. I met him when I was 12 years old. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am now 83. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I never turn back. You know how some people turn back and come back. I never turn back. I thank him. I love him. I praise and worship. Hallelujah. I thank him for the Father, the Son, and his indwelling Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. It ought to be in every Christian. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to be able to thank God for being alive. Hallelujah. And being able to say that Jesus is Lord. Yes. That is such a wonderful statement. Because Many don't know. And just to be able to say that publicly. Good God. That is a privilege. What a blessing. Thank you guys very much. Hallelujah. We give all the glory to him tonight. Yes. <laughs> He's our final maker. Oh, we thank you. Ralph, for two. I just want to thank God for his mighty things that he is doing. My husband and my family and all everybody's life. Uh, somebody was asking me today why you, when I was praised long every day in my job. Somebody was asking me today why all the time you are happy. And I told him that's because I'm having Jesus in my heart. It makes me happy all the time. He said, well, that's good. And I want to thank God because uh, if you have Jesus in your heart, it's like uh, you are joyful or happiness person. Amen. 